Having a basic understanding of how sleep works can help you to improve your sleep, particularly in relation to waking. We sleep in 90 minute sleep cycles, 90 to 120 minutes. And in that time, we go through the different phases of REM and non-REM sleep. So that includes deep sleep and light sleep. If you're waking in the night and you're worrying about it, then just understanding that it's actually quite natural to wake at the end of a 90 to 120 minute sleep cycle can help you to just relax back down. Perhaps using a breathing technique that I can teach you to just help you go back down into sleep. Because a good sleeper will wake and turn over, stretch, and then go back down. A professional insomniac like I used to be will wake up and just carry on waking until I'm wide awake and lie there for hours. <laughs> so if that's what's happening to you though, you may need some help to just reset that sleep so that you just drift back down instead of carrying on waking. If you're trying to wake somebody in the night and they're in deep sleep or REM sleep, then that can be very, very hard. And that's the time perhaps if you've had to get up and very early or you've been woken that you just feel groggy for ages. It's because you've tried to wake in the wrong part of your sleep. If you're in light sleep, it's okay, you can wake, but if you're in sort of deep sleep or REM sleep, it's not really designed to wake up easily. It's when all that healing and processing is happening. If you've got teenage kids, you probably know just how hard it can be to wake them in the morning. And teenage sleep is responsible for that, and also that they're just trying to wake during that REM sleep in the morning. So trying to get their bedtime brought forward or even back 15 minutes, half an hour, could make it so that they're not trying to wake during that really difficult phase. And it's more about when they're waking, which part of the sleep cycle. So have a look at that and just experiment with it. And if you need some more help or advice on improving your sleep, then do get in touch. And I'll give you some free hints and tips that you can use straight away to improve your sleep. <laughs>